everybody. I want to share with you um, my nine-year-old book basket that we do for our homeschooling for Jewish studies. Um, and so the secular studies is a cyber charter school. This is just Jewish. So, okay. So we have a weekly Parsha book. I use the art scroll one. I have her just read it on her own once a week. And I have a schedule up on our fridge about like what each of our kids do each day so they know like what they have to accomplish and um i don't have times for things or anything it's kind of like it just gets done so on mondays we do parsha um i do kriya with my nine-year-old now she knows how to read but i just felt like she needed some practice so i made this kriya boot camp and this is just wait hold on. i'll open it up for you and this is just like a fun activity book where you're reading, there's challenges, there's coloring, there's phonetic, there's fill in the missing nakudos. It's a really fun book just to get in some of that extra practice. Um, as I was making this, <laughs> um, we were using this, Azer Mavo Lucrea, and she was doing real real well with this, um, even though it is all a review for her, but um, I'm just continuing with this, and then when she's done, she's almost done, um, we'll go for Kriya Boot Camp. So that's that. I have a Kef book for her. This is a lot of writing English and also Hebrew script writing. So this, I don't have any, like, times for anything it's just whenever she wants like if there's a spare moment or if she's waiting for me to like i don't finish the dishes and then i'll come learn with you um you know just take out your kef book in the meantime you know what i'm saying so that's what this is for and it's learning and it's fun so that's that okay i feel like i can't have enough sketchbooks or journals <laughs> my my girls all love writing and drawing so she has a sketchbook and I have these two journals. This is a drawn write journal. Um, it has, I'll show you like the empty pages here. It has just a blank page and then a writing page. And um, are you able to see it? Is it on? Okay. And it's, she loves just like writing stories and illustrating them. So this again, also it's like, you know, if I'm like throwing in some laundry or doing it like, hang on, wait for me, just get out your drawn right journal real quick and do something there and I'll be there in a minute. You know what I'm saying? That's like kind of like what this is for. Um, or really at her own time, whatever she, whenever she feels inspired to draw and write, which is really often because <laughs> they love doing that stuff. So that's that. Um, I have this Enjoy Life um, journal. It's a blank. It's just blank. Like I feel like I can't have enough of these. <laughs> Um, they love writing, Baruch Hashem. So once a week we do poetry together and we read poetry together and then we each write poetry. So this is her poetry writing journal. That's what she uses. And it's just like something pretty that she writes in. Uh, we have a creative writing book called Stories from the Savannah. This is one of mine, Baruch Hashem. And I'll show you what it looks like. So it's... So once a week, creative writing, just something fun. My kids love writing. They love animals. Something fun to write about. So, um, oh, wow, she did a lot. <laughs> There's a lot here. I guess that's where she left off. Okay. We have a cursive handwriting book. This was from our cyber charter school that they sent us, but I like doing it with her. Uh, it's called Handwriting Without Tears. And so she's just learning like letter, like how to write the letters. It's very good. And then after, well, this is for my other daughter, for my 11 year old, just to get more practice in. But she's not there yet. We're learning the how to write cursive. Okay, so. Um, what is that? Okay. Um, Lahavinu we use for Chamesh. And this teaches how to write it, how to understand biblical Hebrew. So I do it all together with my kids. I have her and my seven-year-old. Sometimes my 11-year-old will join with, she has her own Lahavin. Sometimes she'll join us. Um, but we try, we do this every day. 
Thank God we've been very consistent about that. Um, so she has also a cassive book. It's like all ripped. <laughs> it's this exact book. Okay, this is the, she's been using this for a while. It's pretty much finished, but it's still in her book basket. She knows how to write, but you know, it's there. I, I don't give her, I don't, I don't have her do it um, like I did with my seven-year-old. I would say, okay, do your cassive, but her, I just leave it there because she basically knows how to write. So, um, but it's, the book is not finished. So when she gets inspired, she can use it or eventually I'll take it out because <laughs> she's good with the writing. And also the La Hava and Alaska gives some writing in there. So I'm not too worried about that. So that's that. And next we have Yahadus. We really love Yahadus. <laughs> it's a great book, really. Um, so we do one chapter. I think we have two, one chapter twice a week. Um, it's very, very good. I what I do is I read it to them out loud, and then they, you know, they color or they listen or, you know, we do it together. And they really love Yahadus. They like the coloring time and just like relaxing and listening and learning, and it opens up a lot of really good discussions. So we're doing that. Uh, this is like everyone's book. Like we read this all together, but sometimes they go in certain people's book baskets, <laughs> I guess. Um, this is really for everyone. Round around the Jewish year. It's a great book. I'd say once a month we go through this and see what's going on for the month, you know. And then last but not least, we do Navi together. And this also is something that we do together as a family, like, we all do whether we're like sitting down for snack time or I don't know we just when we're all together we sit down and do a chapter a day this we do pretty much every single day my kids really love this book they like cry when the chapter is over <laughs> but I read so much out loud my voice gets hoarse <laughs> so uh, but they cry I'm like the chapter is over but anyway we love this book it's great um, and that's what I have. I have the, I have these flashcards, um, multiplication. I don't really take them out that often, but I have multiplication division. They're in her book basket. Um, but you know, she, whatever it's in her book basket. <laughs> so that's, um, that's what I want to share with you for today. And I'll share with you my other two kids in another video. So thank you so much for watching and wish you guys all the best.